G'day, I'm Lucy and I run Morocco Animal Aid, a not-for-profit initiative based in and around the little surf village of Tagazout in Morocco. We run a rescue and rehabilitation centre for any animal that has been injured on the road, is sick, um, that needs vaccination or recovery after surgery. We work alongside with Lucursa Lepat, who are a well-established charity in Agadir. They run a very successful trap, neuter and release program and we have been lucky enough to put some of our dogs through the program, which has meant uh, a reduction in the risk of rabies in our area and also a decrease in the population of street animals altogether. We also have a burgeoning foster to adopt program where we take some of these animals that have come from horrific traumatic situations and we um, teach them how to live in a home, we teach them how to be loved and to trust and then we find them forever families outside of Morocco. We've just moved from a three bedroom house where we had over 40 animals um, squashed into three bedrooms with a large terrace. We were housing sick animals, lame animals, and though it was suitable with smaller numbers, as we started to grow, it just it wasn't okay anymore. We couldn't offer the animals the time, space, and care that they needed in that environment. So we looked for a bigger space, and we found one in the mountains of Aurea in Assasif. And yeah, now here we are. The whole outdoor space we'd like to develop to give the dogs and the cats everything they need. So there will be enough space for them to relax, to take time for themselves. There will be a specific space where we feed them, a specific space where they sleep, a specific space where they can recover from illness and also um, a space where once they've moved from being a shelter dog to a foster dog as they're moving to adoption, we can give them one-on-one -on -one training and they can start to learn to be a domesticated dog living in the house um, and learning all the rules that come along with that. So we've been lucky enough to have a volunteer who has put some, some of our ideas together in a 3D design. They might not be the finished product. We hope that our ideas will evolve, but this is a basic look at what we hope for the future. So let me take you through it. Uh, so this is our volunteer accommodation. Um, you can see one of our sponsors um, has pledged the money to, uh, to name our house. This is the area where we cook our dog food um, and where all the special food for our sick dogs gets made up. And then you come into the open working space, um, which will be for the cats, the dogs and the chickens. Here on the side, you can see some purpose-built cat runs. This will allow them to get away from dogs uh, if they need to and also give them space up and above everything that's going on. Um, so they line both sides of the wall and are um, all different sizes. Further down into the open space we've got some, um, some kennels and then some seating area for any visitors that we might have. Um, we have our chicken coop. Uh, we keep chickens because we want to make use of uh, our food waste and also the eggs um, that they give us back we use to put into the, the meals of our dogs that need a nutritious diet. So it's a good exchange there. Um, and then entering our, um, our main workspace. So here you can see our kennels. We have big kennels down the bottom for our bigger dogs or dogs that want to sleep many dogs together. And then there is a, a, another a top tier of smaller kennels. Both of these areas and the top of the smaller kennels are accessible for the dogs um, by some steps at the other end. So this is where all the dogs will sleep. So next to our kenneled area, we have a specific design that we've put together where the main uh, community of dogs 
uh, who will live out in the back section here. When we feed them, we will bring them through this door and into the feeding area. They will get fed and go back to the kennels, which we can then bring them back out to the main area, which will stop any fights and make sure that everybody gets fed. Okay, so this is our isolation area. The isolation area exists for two reasons. It, it gives us a hygienic space to keep our sick animals and also a space for new intake where we can put puppies or dogs that haven't been vaccinated to protect them from um, the greater population and also to protect the greater population from any diseases or viruses they might be carrying. That was the run through of the sanctuary. Um, you can see a front on view now of our residence and the cafe. Our hope and desire for the cafe is that it will allow us to become more self-sufficient. Basically, we would like it to provide a backbone um, or a foundation of money coming in so that we're not so reliant on donations. We will always need donations, we'll always need support, but having this regular guaranteed income will mean that we can put the donations to um, Mm, to better use, basically. So I'm going to give you a little walk through the cafe now. We have chairs and tables at the front for people to sit. And as you can see, some big blackboards on the outside of our enormous doors that will show our menu and everything that we're showcasing. Basically, this will be a space that represents local produce. Um, also a space where people can sit and rest on the way to Paradise Valley and also a place where you can come and sit and have a coffee either before or after you come and visit us in the sanctuary. And uh, our outdoor seating, like I mentioned, viewable for the, from the road, so it hopes to attract people. Upstairs, upstairs. <sighs> um, so the, the first story or the rooftop of the cafe is just a whole lot of outdoor seatings, uh, seating. We also have a pizza oven built into the corner and the platform that will allow you to look out over both, um, both sides of the mountains. So these are our ideas. Like I said, they're not concrete yet. We hope to expand on them. We hope that uh, professionals that come from these industries might offer their help and advice. It's a big project. It's going to take a lot of work, but we have faith and um, we're behind it 100%. Now we just need your help. Um, aside from our donators and our vet, um, basically Morocco Animal Aid is run by a collective of volunteers. We are part of the WorkAway program and we have different people from different countries, different ages, different genders coming. Um, and they spend from a few weeks to a few months with us. They do everything from uh, picking up poo to walking the dogs, caring for sick animals. Everything, everything that we do is, is because of them and, and we couldn't run Morocco Animal Aid without them. My name is Mimosa and I'm a volunteer at MAA and one of our tasks is taking care of dogs with special needs, for example like Snuffy. Um, he's incontinent and while we were living at the old place, uh, Snuffy was wearing a diaper because um, he was staying inside all day and we had to change it like two or three times a day and now we just have to clean him. Um, another dog with special need is Banana for example, she's a depressed dog and what we're doing with her is trying to go for a walk and give her extra attention and extra love. Um, next to dogs with special needs, we have also different animals with um, injuries that are coming in. For example, we had a cat a few weeks ago. Um, her name was Ursuli, um, whose back was completely burned, um, the skin was completely gone, so Lucy took care of it and with, with all the knowledge that she learned from the internet, that um, all the tips and advices the vets she's in contact with gave her or from previous animals, uh, previous cases, we would assist her and while assisting her she would also explain us 
what she's doing and would show us how she's doing. And we were able to do some of the tasks ourselves. We basically unwrapped her every day and then we cleaned her wound with um, water and put moisturizer on it. And um, we had to cut the, the dad burnt skin off and then we put um, different wrapping material and then we wrapped and bandaged again. And we would do that every day. Hey guys, I'm Dario. I am a volunteer for Moroccan Animal Aid and I've been already working here for the second time. I really enjoy the work with all the dogs here and I like really enjoy also to see how this um, association is growing because the first time I was here we only had 15 dogs but now we have around 33 dogs. Now we have this huge garden with plenty of trees so that means the dogs have a lot of shady places and the whole uh, property is about 900 square meters big so they have a lot of room to play with each other and <laughs> Binky Binky come on Binky come here you're a dickhead come on assis-toi assis-toi So I think it's like a really good decision for us and I guess the dogs will enjoy it. Some of the money from the pledges will be used to install an outdoor cinema and it will be underneath this tree and hopefully it will take place monthly here. And the idea of it is like that local people and travelers can meet here to watch some movies and also cuddle with the dogs and that they are getting to know the dogs and they get more comfortable with dogs. They can also take pictures with them for the social media and just having a good time. So one of our long-term goals uh, with this property is to have a space uh, open to the public like a petting zoo. Uh, we'd like for it to be um, an open space with different animals where children and families can come and feel safe uh, and in this space learn how to interact with animals, um, learn the type of care that animals need. Um, we'd like it to be an educational space that uh, helps the community feel more at ease with the animals and then also educates them about the things that they can do to look after their own animals, um, be they shepherds or people with chickens, um, young families with cats and dogs. Uh, we'd love for, for vets and professionals to come and visit us and also offer their advice um, back to the community so, yeah, so that we can all move forward in this project together. Every bit of money raised through your pledges will go back into MAA to support the goals that we mentioned in the video. Your donations will mean that the animals living here can either live out a very happy life or be happy and well when they go to their forever home. Please share, like and help us promote this video so that we can get to our target. This mission is so important to us. Thank you everybody who supported us this far and for the future too. Thank you.